Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is going to be a book called A Comprehensive Prophet's Manual, A How-To Guide to the Prophetic Lifestyle. This is just going to be the first chapter in 55 chapters that uh, the book is going to entail. I want to first uh, start and say that a prophet in my my most simple definition of a prophet is a, a prophet is a friend of God's. And I'm aware that people hold prophets on such a high pedestal and it seems to be a mysterious and mystical uh, vocation for some people. But the... The office of prophet isn't meant to be misunderstood or put on such a high place. In fact, uh, scriptures teach us that uh, anyone that wants to be greatest must become the servant of all. So uh, we live in a culture these days where apostles and the prophets are treated with a lot of respect and demand respect. But I don't see uh, the disciples and the apostles in the Bible uh, demanding respect. I see someone like uh, the Apostle Paul traveling all through uh, uh, Asia, uh, preaching the gospel all, all the way through the Mediterranean uh, to all the countries he went to, uh, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and being a slave to Christ and a bond servant. So people tend to uh, put uh, prophets on, on a pedestal and uh, they, they tend to think that prophets are someone special. And I hope as you read this book and, and you spend time with me as I uh, uh, share and unburden my soul with you, that you come to realize that I'm just a normal person. I'm a down-to-earth guy. I'm a very honest and transparent guy. I'm a person who's had a life full of sin. I'm a person with struggles and challenges and trials and heartaches. And I'm a person just like you. And I, I, I want to uh, bring forth this book uh, with uh, as much... Uh, timidity and, and, and humility as I can to express to you that uh, even uh, uh, an unknown person who's only preached five times in his life in, in a pulpit can uh, affect thousands of lives and, and make an impact on uh, the kingdom of God and have a worthwhile place uh, in the body of Christ as, as just a little uh, humdrum prophet. I am uh, going to uh, co-author this book with a person who's, who's done crusades, who's healed uh, blind eyes, who's uh, 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 unstuck deaf ears, who's, who's uh, pulled people out of wheelchairs, uh, cured cancers, and uh, done uh, big crusades and saved thousands of people. Uh, and uh, his name is Orti, and uh, he's going to co-author this book. And after I've done each of my chapters, he's going to do a chapter two. And uh, you'll see that uh, when the book is published and it's not on video. I want to share with you that every Christian uh, can be prophetic. Uh, everyone who... Uh, has the ability to hear Jesus speak uh, to their mind. And we, we're reminded and in the parable of, of the Good Shepherd that uh, my sheep hear my voice and, uh, and uh, I call them out by name and, and they follow me. Uh, so we're assured in, in the Good Shepherd that we can hear the voice of Jesus. And I can say simply that if, if you can hear Jesus speak, you can prophesy, you can give a person a message because prophecy is simply giving another person a message of Jesus. And 
you if if you know jesus if you know uh who jesus is and you know him to uh be a friend and a savior and and a groom then uh depending on your intimacy with jesus uh you'll be able to carry his message for another person because jesus loves you jesus loves me and he just wants to encourage and lift people up and if you've got a uh uh, history in talking to Jesus. If you've got uh, somewhat of a relationship with Jesus, you'll know that uh, he's a beautiful God. He's a beautiful person. And uh, he he lives to encourage and lift us up. And so moving in the prophetic is simply passing on encouraging messages to people and even if the message is is a word of correction or a word of rebuke uh even if the message seems pretty harsh and would, would involve someone making lifestyle changes or making uh serious changes to their life the the message comes in love when 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 you carry the message of jesus even uh, a rebuke or even something harsh can have redeeming qualities to it. So uh, when you uh, represent the prophetic, you represent Jesus, and Jesus is best expressed uh, in the Gospels. And you saw how he just went around healing all that was sick and lifting up uh, the bruised weeds. And uh, it says in Isaiah, bruised reed, he he not he won't uh, um, hurt and he'll lift up the brokenhearted and Jesus is someone who loves the brokenhearted and so uh, to to move in the prophetic you simply need to be an open a vessel and an open channel uh, to God so I'm going to spend a lot of money uh, producing this book I'm going to uh, get it professionally edited and. The editing is going to be expensive and it's going to cost a lot of money. This book is uh, is uh, based on the same chapter titles of the second book uh, that I wrote. I've written over uh, 60 books at present as I record the video for this book. Um, so the second book that I ever wrote nine years ago uh, was called The Prophetic Supernatural Experience. And... Uh, the Holy Spirit put it on my heart just recently uh, to revisit that book and uh, re-publish uh, that book. And rather than uh, take excerpts of that book and do an updated version, he just wanted me to do a total update on the book. So I'm going to be using the same chapter titles as uh, the Prophetic Supernatural Experience. And we're going to be talking about the same subjects as the prophetic supernatural experience. But if you've read that book before, there'll be a lot of fresh content in this book and this book will be enjoyable too uh, because uh, it's got nine years more of experience with my travels with Jesus and nine years more experience with my prophetic ability, nine years of wisdom, nine years of intimacy with Jesus that I've traveled in uh, since then. So sit back. And relax just understand even though i call myself a prophet even though i'm uh, officially in the office of prophet and a minister as a prophet just relax because uh even if uh, you're just a person that's uh, gonna minister and just be prophetic and uh use the gifts of prophecy um you you're you're in good hands here and you can learn a lot about the prophetic uh, in this book. So I just want to welcome you, give you a warm welcome. I hope uh, if you see this on YouTube that you can see this playlist and uh, you follow the book and, and you follow each of the videos. Don't uh, be too hard on yourself. One, G one thing Jesus constantly reminds me is not to be too hard on myself. Uh, the Apostle Paul said uh, that we're not to compare it ourselves to each other. So I don't want you looking at me thinking that I'm someone fantastic and you could never be like me. And I hope that uh, as you read what Orty adds uh, to this, uh, to Orty adds to, to this book in his commentary after each of my chapters, 
I hope that uh, you'll see him as someone who ministers to, but also a servant and a bond slave of Jesus Christ. Don't look up to us as any special person. Just relax and know that uh, you too uh, can minister for Jesus.